do you want to get into the program on your first try? If you do, listen to me, okay? I'm not here to sell you on nothing. I'm here to tell you the facts. I got in on my first try and I successfully made it to the Disney College program in Disneyland of spring 2019. I know, I'm late. I don't want to hear it. But I have got the juice and I have the info, okay? I got it all here and I got it all typed up. I was watching all of these YouTube videos and I feel like the YouTube videos definitely helped me as well as my own experience. So I'm gonna share that with you. But I feel like I have all this knowledge that I feel like I could share with you and it really didn't hit me until I wrote out this whole long thing for my friend who was applying for the program later on after I did and she was applying on her first try and she got in. So the tea that I'm about to spill hopefully is what got her in as well. So just keep on watching. I know I'm looking at the viewfinder, don't mind it, it's, we're just gonna work with it. To start off with me, I feel like my experience before the program definitely helped me and definitely prepared me. If you don't wanna listen, skip. But I worked at Disney before the college program. So if you want the tea, I got the tea. I got my iPad and I got a whole list of things that I feel like helped me. First things first, as long as you get through web-based interview and you do good on that, then you'll do good on your PI, if that makes sense. With the web-based interview, you want to place your mindset as if you are already a cast member. And if you're already applying for the Disney College program, I'm sure you have knowledge of what the Disney parks are like, what the employees are like, how they act, what they, ex what you expect from them. So instead of getting nervous and getting all worked up and I don't know how to act, take a hot second and just think to yourself, what would a Disney cast member do in these situations? How would a Disney cast member react what would a Disney cast member say? Or if you don't really have any knowledge of being in the parks, think of Walt Disney. What would Walt Disney say? A lot of the web-based questions are just working as a team. How would you fit in working um, on stage, AKA in the parks? How would you cooperate living in a tight space with a lot of other cast members and how would you deal with the guests and and why this opportunity there's thousands of internships with thousands of different companies why do you choose this one and you need to stand out i'm not cutting nothing i'm not sugarcoating nothing okay you need to stand out and you need to think to yourself what would a disney cast member do or say because you need to act as if. If you know about the law of attraction, then you already know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, cut this, watch The Secret. Actually watch my video, then watch The Secret because then, you know. But yeah, so basically the web-based interview, it's like act as if you were on stage and Walt Disney was watching you in the crowd and you were answering these questions. How would you work as a team you know, select the best answer possible. Like the web-based interview is not hard at all. If you pay attention, if you really want this, and if you take your time and just think about every question in the most positive way that you can. They're looking for like outgoing people that have a drive to help, to help others, to gain knowledge, to, I don't know, make some magic, you know? My friend, never mind. This kid that I know, um, <laughs> he didn't take it seriously because he wanted me to help him with the interview, no. And guess what he did? He got kicked out in the middle of his web interview, okay? So they are paying attention, they do have a criteria and they are gonna cut you out if you're not taking this seriously, which, if you're not and you're watching this video, then why are you watching this video? You know what I'm saying? Like, 
don't waste your time watching the video if you're not going to take it just seriously let me cut let me skip to the chase so web-based interview i can't really remember what was in the interview but it was all common sense that's all i can remember it was common sense and if you're thinking as a cast member just think like you on your, you are on your a game it doesn't like not trying to make this sound bad but you don't matter this sounds wrong but you want the best for the guest point blank period you are willing to do whatever it takes to get the guest their best experience possible and that's what they want to hear and it's not saying it in like a selfish selfless way but you want to you just want to act like you are ready to create magic and you are willing to do whatever it takes disney guests have an issue about everything they want the best experience ever as soon as they walk through the gates of that park so you need to be that person that wants to do anything and everything to a certain extent but anything and everything to make sure that they walk away from you with the biggest smile on their face you know a little background about me before i was in the disney college program i was working at disney world at animal kingdom at a restaurant um not gonna say where but I definitely gained so much knowledge there as in to bite my tongue and learn exactly what it takes to be the best Disney cast member ever. People are going to give you a hard time. People are going to chew you out, but it's up to you on how you react and they are always watching, okay? The guests are always watching, the managers are always watching, Mickey Mouse is always watching you, okay? I learned the key to dealing with disney guests especially in a restaurant because people are hangry okay and they don't want to hear you have to wait they don't want to hear your reservations not there and maybe it isn't but guess what you're gonna have to deal with them anyway so might as well make it the best solution and best problem solving i don't know how to talk my god before i got into the program i learned that you just have to bite your tongue and it's truly all about making the guests like as happy as possible creating the best solution for the guests no matter what and if they walk out happy they're probably not going to give you that much of a big deal one of the key things that i learned and i'll probably say this again um, during the interview question process is that they the guests whenever they come up to you angry and mad and frustrated they just want to vent they aren't necessarily coming up to you to yell at you um, they just want to vent oh let me I don't know this video is kind of all over the place because I don't know how to make videos like this but I have the juice up in here and I'm just trying to pour it out for you. You know what I'm saying? So just bear with me, okay? Um, I just learned throughout my days on how to put on that show, that Disney show. And I feel like that is what also helped me in my phone interview. But also my best friend that I met on the program, she had no other work experience like she did work you know what i'm saying but she didn't have any work experience let alone working in the disney environment before and she still got in on her first try so it's not that hard if you just get yourself in that disney face okay so first things first let me just go to the ipad these are the notes that i gave my friend when she was applying for her program and she got in it so let's hear okay when i'm referring to they i'm just i'm just talking about the recruiters and the disney people you know what i'm saying i guess that's kind of it for the web-based interview i feel like there's not really much i can talk to you about that other than just use your common sense and what would mickey mouse say what would walt say if you're 
asking if they ask you something about working as a team of course you want to work as a team you don't want to pick the strongest answer that has working as a team if you're if they're asking you about alone time you don't really care about alone time you're not being isolated you're you want to gain knowledge you want to meet new people you want to network you want to talk to guests you want to work extra what you know what i'm saying just act as if and if they talk about you know I don't know, you know, I, I like I said, I don't really, I don't really, I can't say much about the web-based interview other than take it seriously, act as if, and do the extreme. Oh, I forgot about that. Do the, like, extreme, extremely agree, or what's that, you know, whatever. I really do agree, or I really don't agree. Don't do that in the middle, like the neutrals, because that's almost like a, um, they just cancel out that question, you know, like they don't really, they're not gonna, I don't know, they just don't really take the neutrals, they just like kind of take it as like a nothing, like you didn't answer, like you don't want to answer, so if they ask you if you're, um, okay with living with roommates, of course you're okay, I want to live with roommates, um, do high volume situations bother you, absolutely not, because you have to think about it. What is Disney? High volume, always. Always, tons, millions of people go there. Thousands of people every single day. You have to be okay with that, you know? So if you're not gonna be okay with high volume situations or um, stressful situations, you gotta, you gotta act like you can handle it. You can handle anything. Even if you can't, you know what? This is a great opportunity to teach you how powerful you are and how strong you are because i know you can it's a lot of fun and you don't want to miss out on this fun so mm, moving on to the phone interview this is the stressful part but honestly before i get into the juice just remember stay present in the moment don't get worked up about what they're gonna think what they're gonna say what the outcome is gonna be because that's not what's going on right now what is happening right now is you having the opportunity to seize your moment. Don't get all hyped up worried about what they're going to think. Is it the right answer? It's the wrong answer. Just be yourself. Also, before you get nervous, I also learned in a lot of other videos, and I'm sure you already, you already are watching videos, but smile during the interview. Because if I talk like this, I kind of sound like a little bit cheerful and happier rather than talking like this and like worried about what I'm going to say and blah, 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 blah. Be as happy as possible. Be happy that you are getting the opportunity to schedule an appointment to talk to someone that is interested in you for their program. You know what I'm saying? So what I did for me is I laid out all these sticky notes around me. The sticky notes just said affirmations, you know, smile, you are worthy, you're doing great, you, you'll get accepted. And also another thing that I had was other, you know, questions that I've heard from other videos and I like wrote them down and I sat them there and just kind of like gathered my thoughts as to what I could be asked. And if I did, then I could kind of just look at them, glance at them, and kind of refresh my memory on what I had thought about before. You definitely want to prepare for this. You have a time and you know when they're going to call, so be prepared. And also having notes helps me not go blank. Although it's funny because my notes, um, they rarely asked me any of the questions that I had prepared for. But that's okay. I mean, I still got in, so they're gonna ask you why do you want to work for the company and that when you think about that question it's a hard question I'm gonna just tell what I said in briefly but don't take my answer because just don't do it twist it up in your own words but you'll see the attitude that I'm trying to get so I said my entire childhood revolved around Disney and I made so many memories. I want to be able to create memories and have a magical and give. I want to be able to create memories and give a magical experience to the guests as your cast members have done for my family when I was a kid. I'm sorry, I can't talk. 
but you know what i'm saying say how important the disney company was to you and at the same token sound like you want to give back to the guests and the, especially the kids that come in you know you want to be the one to give them these magical moments and you want to be the one to create these magical memories you know i remember you know look looking back as a kid and and anytime they would say like my dress was pretty my hair was nice my face paint was so pretty like it like you know i walked around like so happy so you know just kind of have that attitude and like be ready to sound like no matter what you want to gain as much knowledge and you want to be able to give back to the guests they want a, a lot of enthusiasm and for you to, like I said, create magic. They're looking for key words like that. Make sure you sound like you want to go the extra mile for the guests. Like, talk about how you understand that families work really hard and save years and years to be able to come here so they deserve to be treated like a star. Star is a key word because they want everyone to feel like they are a VIP at Disney. This is coming straight from the source, okay? Not me, but Disney. They talked about how every guest is a star or a VIP, you know, very important person. So just sound like that you already expect to give the guests this type of attitude and this type of loyalty and trust you know what i'm saying um you want to act like every guest every individual guest you see as a cast member you want to like fresh face wipe the chalkboard down start fresh and give their full attention to each individual guest or each individual problem you know you don't want to be all worked up from a guest that just gave you a really hard time about something and then the next guest that comes up you to you is simply asking about a ride or an attraction that's the same thing a ride or a show or a, a restaurant and you're gonna be like yep it's that way no start fresh have that smile on and be ready to just go above and beyond again i came home exhausted every shift but you gotta be ready for it you know okay going back to keywords um i would write these down you want to mention these keywords because that is what they literally write down don't ever say customer they are not customer they are the guests the guests the guests the guests the guests, the guests, the guests, the guests, the guests. don't say customer even if you're used to your job, wherever you're working right now, and they say customer, client, they are guests. Guests making memories, making magic, giving them an experience. Experience, experience, experience. Use that word. Use, use all those words. They're going to think that you're like a Disney prodigy. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is all over the place. So if you're trying to script skip through my videos i suggest you not to because i'm all over the place i don't know how to do these in instructional videos okay um when talking to them they're looking for your personality they want bubbly happy outgoing they don't want to hear monotone they don't want to hear you know nervous is okay but turn your no nervousness into um confidence and if you can't do that just try and fake it till you make it because if you do that you will make it now going into the difficult time you had with a guest or a customer they're probably going to ask you this question because they want to know problem solving you have to know how to problem solve and not for your benefit for their benefit for the guest benefit because it's their experience it's their moment to shine and you are there to make their vacation the best vacation they've ever had in their entire life even if they come every weekend just tell a personal story but make sure you sound like you are concerned with making sure you are going the extra mile for the guests even if they're rude so they don't leave unhappy i learned 
as a Disney cast member is when they come up to you already worked up and anxious and mad and mean, sometimes they just want to vent. At the end of the day, they came to the happiest place on earth, mostly probably for their kids, and they don't want to have their kids upset or their vacation disturbed. So that's why they're getting worked up because they spent all this money, they, they spent all this time planning, traveling, you know, to have this moment and what it's like ruined for some odd reason. So you're here to be the ones that change their entire mood, their entire situation and fix it and then some. That's what they want to hear. So with me, I referred back to a, a story when I was working at Animal Kingdom and this lady came up to me all mean and loud and ridiculous and but just act so concerned like nothing in your vicinity world workspace matters except for their moment and their situation and what they are mad about nothing else matters except for that guest i don't need to get that deep but i'm just saying hopefully you get the point um like I said, so she came up to me working, uh, like all worked up, all mad because simply her reservation has been canceled. It wasn't showing up. She planned it so far back and she's here now trying to, you know, have this magical experience with her family and it's not working out. Tell, tell the interviewer that you listened to everything that was going on in this situation and act so concerned as in how can we fix this we are gonna get it fixed i i got you i am going to be your wingman we're gonna get this handled i kind of reassured her that i'm gonna do everything that i possibly can i hear you i understand completely we're gonna get this fixed then i began to check her reservation check it up yes something was wrong and my battery is gonna die and i'm very upset um yeah after that i got her reservation fixed but then i also got her like a dessert something oh that's what it was she was worried about we're back and we're on the iphone which is scary because my phone has low battery so this is really making me upset we got her reservation fixed to where she was going to be sat very soon but she was concerned that she had already made a fast pass and now she's gonna miss her fast pass because her reservation was behind and by the time she was sitting her fast pass would have been gone so being the cast member you have the advantage of calling each attraction and handling like any fast pass whatever so we were able to one hook them up with a dessert two called the attraction, reschedule their fast pass by name so that all they had to do was walk up, mention their name, and they already knew what was about to go down. And they just were able to go on the ride. Let me grab my notes. Both handed. Why do you want this position? Once again, this kind of goes along with the company thing. You want to spread love and magic to the guests. Also, aside from that, with the Disney College program in California, what I know of, it was mandatory to do these educational things. You had to meet a certain requirement and you had to do these classes. You had to do a certain amount of seminars and classes to reach a certain amount of hours. If you don't reach the hours, you're gone. With the Disney College program in Florida, you didn't have to do any of that. Well, that's another thing that I didn't know when applying. So you want the opportunity to network and you want the opportunity to build these connections with the Disney company to further enhance your career. All of us are going to college in hopes of making something of ourselves and the Disney college program really does help you build those connections when it comes to um, networking with certain people within your niche or within your major. You want to sound like you are urging to gain this knowledge within the Disney company, you want to branch out, you want to meet friends, you want to be in a work environment that is just full of love and magic even though you get there and it's just like any other restaurant or work environment, there's drama and there's gonna be mean people but you're, you're gonna be that one that goes besides that because you are here 
for the Disney College program. You are here for a purpose and you are here to further enhance your knowledge. You need to tell them that you really want this opportunity because you feel like the knowledge that you're gonna gain from these experiences you would not be able to get from any other company or from any other internship, any other experience. Be unique, but don't don't overdo it, you know? Don't try and oversell yourself, just be you. And that's really what they wanna hear. They'll, they'll know when you're trying to, you know, do the most and, you know, maybe you don't do the most on the regular. So just be yourself, you know? They wanna see you role play. One thing that I got told in my orientation and in my training almost, when I was starting off on my Disney College program, how would you handle a fun situation? How could you make a guest interaction that was not bad at all? They didn't come up to you to yell at you about something. They came up to you to ask a question and you answered it, but how can you make that moment extra special? And one thing they mentioned is role playing, you know, if, one of the little girls that they have is dressed up as Belle. You don't want to say, oh, I like your dress. Be like, oh, Belle, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't believe it's you. Can I have your autograph? Can I, like, where's the beast? Have you, have you gone to the castle? Blah, 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 blah. They want that type of vibe, you know? Be, be that type of extra magic. Um, Let's see, each interview is going to be a little different. They're not gonna ask the same exact questions, but if you get the opportunity to slide these little 411s in here, you know, you should do it. They like for you to mention safety because it's one of the four keys. You'll learn about the four keys when you get there. Um, safety, they want to make sure that you are aware and you wanna protect and watch over them. You are the guest fairy godmother at all times okay being efficient in your job working as a team no matter how hard you work and if your team team player i mean your fellow cast member isn't really giving a shit and really doesn't care um about what they're doing that doesn't matter you're gonna take their slack and you're gonna finish the job too because what you're here to get the job done as efficient and professional as you can and making sure if they're not doing their job you're gonna do it and you're gonna do it better than them not in a bad way you know not in a conceited way either but you're gonna handle it and you're gonna show disney that you know you got what it takes yeah you know i think i kind of covered it all and if i didn't i'm sorry but basically you just need to act as if. You need to act as you're ready to be the next cast member to give these guests the most magical experiences as possible. That's your top priority. And you are ready to just simply spread some pixie dust around everywhere and everyone you touch while working. You're ready to work as a team. You're willing to do whatever it takes and, and work however hard you have to work to make sure all the jobs that's your responsibility is done on time, efficiently, and professionally, and you know, working as a team, I just said that, just here to put on a show. Yeah, as long as you have that mindset, you can kind of articulate your own um, answers, as well as kind of watch other videos, I guess, you know, and kind of go off them. I really wouldn't suggest saying exactly what I say, um, or what other videos say because everyone in the DCP watches these YouTube videos. So you want to be unique. You want to stand out. You want to be you. And that's what they're looking for. When it comes to being nervous and stuttering, they're not really going to put a lot of stress on you. And when you answer the phone and talk to them, you'll hear it in their tone because they're extremely happy. They're so nice. They're going to give you a couple of moments to get your thoughts together when you're answering these questions so don't feel like you have to rush to answer them um take a moment gather your thoughts calm yourself down i wouldn't say it's not that serious because it's definitely serious but don't overwork yourself just be grateful for this moment and grateful for this opportunity oh key 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 well, when you answer the phone for your phone interview, they're going to state their name. Write their name down. 
get that name down and you're gonna thank them when you're done with the interview. Thank them for the interview and thank them for their time um, and state their name. I think my lady was Vanessa. Um, so I remembered to write her name down so I didn't forget it. Um, and I said, thank you, Vanessa, so much for this opportunity. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you for calling me and considering me. Um, have a magical day. Magical day. And end it right there. Let them know that you already know. Have a magical day. So you know what? Show them. Show them. You're not even at Disney. You already know how to work this. Thanks. You're going to do great. I can tell you you're gonna do great. Don't get discouraged if you don't feel like you're doing a good job. Having that mindset is only gonna push you back. I I didn't really think that I did so good on my interview once I hung up, and I did. Disneyland has only like three to 400 participants. And guess what? My first try, Disneyland, I moved across the US and I'm so grateful. It was very, I'm not, to, I'm, I'm not about to talk bad, but um, it wasn't exactly what I thought it was going in, but I stuck it out. Um, I made the best of it and I met some amazing, amazing, amazing people along my journey. Maybe not the people that were in charge of the Disney College program, but my work, place my you know the place I work <laughs> and my roommate I it was a blessing it truly was exactly what I needed and I'm so thankful for the opportunity and I regret every day that I didn't stay in California but yeah let me just say this you're gonna be broke you're gonna be broke on your program so I would just say when you do get accepted save up your money and have a lot as much as you possibly can because in i don't know about disney world but disneyland i got my rent taken out every single week i don't know why it doesn't make sense it leaves you with nothing in your pocket so just save so you have something to work with because i definitely understood that by me not having a lot and i didn't prepare necessarily as much as i should have I didn't have enough to go and explore California as much as I should have. Um, you got this, you're gonna ace it. Um, I have faith in you and um, yeah, just be ready to do full Disney mode. Like you're in character. If you want, I did vlog some of my um, DCP, if you want to check out my channel, um, although I didn't vlog a lot of DCP things because like I said, my program and the people in charge of it weren't necessarily um, something that I wanted to show and talk about because it was more on the stressful side rather than me wanting to talk about all the amazing things that the Disney program has to offer. The memories that I made on my program were priceless. So with that being said, it's a little give and a little take. Let me tell you when I did have a lot of mental breakdowns, yes, I did, but I did have a lot of good people along the way to help me through and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? We all had mental breakdowns. We all were stressed out with the DCP, not so much with the work environment, with the DCP. So yeah, and anyone's gonna tell you that. And if they don't, they're lying to you. <laughs> but yeah, and let's just take a moment in silence for the people that are on this 2020 spring program that just got sent home because of the coronavirus. I don't know what you're feeling. I can't imagine what you're feeling and it really truly breaks my heart that you guys got sent home. I'm so sorry. You guys don't deserve that. You guys worked really hard to get into these programs and for you to be sent home on a four day notice, not cool, bro, not cool. I'm not gonna beg you to follow my social media or my YouTube channel, but I do have a lot of juicy Disney juice on my Instagram if you wanna go check it out. Check it out. Um, other than that, 
thank you so much for watching this is a long video but if you stuck through it thank you so much and you're gonna ace it you're gonna ace it if you're watching these types of videos you got it you're on the right track and i have faith in you like and comment if you're using my advice or if my advice helped made you a little bit less nervous or more confident gave you more ideas and more of an insight on what this whole interview process is about just be happy in the moment be yourself and show them why you want to work for the disney company and what you can give to the disney company and with that being said Peace out.